All right. Uh, thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. My name is Caleb Karoga, and I believe Okuli Masio Ushamba. Now, a couple of uh, months ago, I'd say about two and a half, going to three months ago, I planted Dania for my restaurant, Coffee 254. Story for another video. And uh, I made a mistake. I bought coriander seeds or Dania seeds from uh, a serious shop. You know, the way, where you go and you buy, say, a quarter kilo, they measure for you. This, is not, this was not a hybrid seed. So I went for that and um, it was a total disaster. Or so you would think. If you come close, you will see the overgrown coriander is now home for bees. Bees, because of there's so many flowers, they will come and get their nectar from uh, these coriander seeds. If you come close, we have seen some bees over here. Just come. So all of these looks like it's waste, but it's not. Look at that. All right. Um, this is all overgrown coriander. Look at that. So whereas I lost on the coriander, what I was expecting to have is the coriander leaves. I gained by making sure that my bees now have nectar. And you know bees will visit thousands upon thousands of flowers in a day as they search for pollen. They are foraging now for pollen and they will carry pollen on their hind legs. Yeah. It's just amazing to watch them do their thing. And like I've always told you, all waka bees are female. So I can bet my bottom dollar that all these, um, all these bees you see over here, all these are female waka bees. Something very funny if you come close is, rarely will you be stung, and I've never been stung by a bee when it's looking for pollen. Look at that. Whereas I will not attempt to touch one. I will not attempt, but I'll just observe. I also realize that the smell <coughs> of this particular variety of coriander isn't as rich as, I would say, aromatic um, as the, the, the hybrid coriander seeds. However, I actually like it because I've got so many flowers. You'd think this is um, pyrethrum, but it's not. So, yeah. I'm trying to make a good use of a bad situation and uh, let's see how it goes. So yeah, if you come and see, uh, we have seeds. Seeds are starting to form. I have seen seeds somewhere. Uh, the coriander that had seeds. Oh, here you go. Look at this. This is now the coriander seed. This. The near seed. I could probably even just a few let me show you so this is it this of course will turn black this is not yet mature once it's mature enough for harvesting now this will turn black and this is now what they are going to sell to us they're just going to harvest this and then they're going to sell this to us so this is how you get coriander or dania seeds you let uh, the coriander overgrow and once it has overgrown you have seeds and that's the continuity of life uh, let it grow, let it have seeds. So I was suspecting bolting happened. That's what I suspect, bolting happened. Um, yes or no, I'm not so sure, but uh, I never got to sell any of these coriander. It started just to just produce flowers immediately uh, when it was really young. And, you know, I decided because I'm a beekeeper, let me have, um, you know, some bees come and get some nectar. So, yeah. Uh, Continue subscribing. If you have not, please uh, share this video with other people. Let them know. Ukulima. See you, Shamba.